Morning, all. Oh, a bit warm. Alison Mead here on my keto fitness journey out on a beautiful walk in the misty forest with Daisy. Um, reporting in, progress reports, all of that, keeping accountable. So uh, still walking every day, just not doing a video every day because that would get a bit boring. Um, so during this latest lockdown in the UK, um, in the Keto Fitness Club, Mark, who runs the club with his daughter Ella, uh, is, a, is a PT, personal trainer by training. Um, before he started the Keto Fitness Club, he used to do a lot of one-to-one -one training sessions. But he's now started to do a variety of classes on uh, Zoom. These classes are mostly at half past eight in the morning. And anybody who's a member of the Keto Fitness Club can join in these classes for no extra cost. And, you know, you know if you follow me here, I'm a little bit rubbish at getting up half eight in the morning. And I persuaded myself, I got myself in this habit of getting up and going for a walk with Daisy every day, which I love. And that if I did these classes at half eight in the morning, it would somehow disturb that routine. But work's a bit quieter this month. You know, I do bookkeeping and accounts and teach people how to do it. And there's not many people during this lockdown at the minute that want any training. And I'm all on top of my bookkeeping work, all the VAT returns, payroll processing and all of that I need to do is all done. So I've got a little bit more quiet time. So it's not necessarily that important that I'm sat at my desk between 9 and 10 in the morning. I can have a little bit of time for me. So I decided that doing a class at half past eight and then uh, going out for my walk afterwards because I'm not going to not have my walk because Daisy needs it and it's also good to walk and loosen up after you've done other exercise. So this week I did, um, or last week I did a class which involved some slow moving, holding some weights, moving your arms around, lunges, um, squats all quite slow moving and if there was something that with my arthritis i couldn't do i'm able to ask mark and adapt it um this week on tuesday i joined in with a class that was mainly a legs class and apart from not being able to do four point kneeling hands and knees i kind of lean on the sofa with my elbows and waggle my legs about so that works um, I joined in with that class on Tuesday um, and I must admit Wednesday morning I'm feeling it in my bum and my thighs um, but I thought oh sod this I'll, I'd like to do that same class that I did last week again which was on Wednesday morning because I quite enjoyed that the week before so I got up on Wednesday morning and logged in and he was doing a different class he was doing one with kettlebells and if I'd have realised it was a kettlebells class, I don't have any kettlebells, I would have never have got up and joined in. But I decided to stick around and see what it was all about yesterday morning and improvise. And, um, do you know, it was, it was another class where I was able to get the hand weights that I held and swing those a bit about a bit, like a kettlebell. And then there was other exercises that were just about lifting a weight and stretching them up to exercise your arms or holding them out in front of you and I've got some other uh, ball shaped weights that I was able to use for that bit of the exercise and you know I surprised myself if I'd have known that that was what the class was I wouldn't have gone but it's all on zoom you know if you find an exercise is too much for you you can switch your camera off you don't even have to put your camera on at all actually and you can just do what you can and you know getting up and being in front of the telly in a zoom class and moving around just a little bit is better than what I usually do which is just lie in bed until I get up ready to go for a walk so I have to admit yesterday it did 
really, really tire me out. You know, I do have to be a little bit careful with my arthritis that I, you know, you can get fatigued, but as work isn't busy at the moment, I allowed myself to get under a blanket, sit on my sofa and watch some of my favorite telly program, which I'm really gutted because I've been binge watching it. I've nearly finished. Um, I'm watching This Is Us on Amazon Prime and uh, I've just got to series five and I think there's only four episodes and then obviously because of this COVID nonsense they've had to stop filming and uh, I digress actually but I really loved actually that I've got to a drama which is set during these COVID times as well so they're on there and they're talking about social distancing and they're talking about wearing masks and it just makes it all feel a bit more normal instead of a bit more weird anyway i digress so that's two exercise classes in a row 45 minutes um lifting weights squatting doing lunges waggling your arms about best way to describe it really and yes today i on my walk now this morning so today's thursday I can really feel a tightness in my bum, um, the tops of my thighs, my inner thigh, where I've stretched all those muscles. But the secret now is, don't you agree, to keep going and not to stop. Because it's only when you start these things for the first time it can ache a little bit. It's like I can't even hold the camera up. Ooh, shoulders. But it's... Um, nearly dropped it it's a good pain you know it's a good ache it's an ache that says that you've got up and done something instead of just sitting on your backside and so my story to you today is get up and give it a go keep moving you know I was also able to even though I felt a bit rubbish um, I was able to get food that I'd prepped on my good days and put in the freezer out to eat so that I kept keto and didn't, you don't digress into comfort eating. Um, it's also the fact that if you don't have those old comfort foods that used to be a habit, if you don't have them in your cupboard, in your freezer or in your fridge, then you can't bloody eat them. And yes, it can seem a bit of an effort and a uh, to cook everything from scratch and on some days I absolutely love it and that's all I want to do and the cooking lifts me out of a funk and yesterday I just needed sofa time so my lovely husband Paul cooked one of my favourite dinners um, it was protein noodles with a keto carbonara sauce and a big chunk of gammon um, which was lovely but for my other meals I was able to cook foods reheat foods out of the freezer that I prepared another time so there you go another long waffle from Ali I'm just approaching where the uh, M1 motorway runs just near the end of our village and my arms bloody killing me so I'm gonna say ta and up this this to my YouTube but please do say hello um, let me know how you're doing on your keto or fitness journey and um, yeah. miles I'll see you again soon there you go I don't know if you can hear that that was me being a mile from home just doing my walk slowly just at my own pace and uh, reveling in that muscle ache speak to you soon bye